Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, and Art, and all you audience out there. There really aren't five people all That was the only way I was going to get that in. Now, Art's speech today was actually, even though he is a DTM, he's going down through many, as several of us have done, and doing it again, and we get it better each time we do it. And he's in number seven <coughs> speech this time, which is research your topic. In research your topic, the speaker is to select a subject of importance to the audience, that requires a large amount of research. The speaker is to collect information from numerous sources and carefully support points with specific facts, examples, and illustrations rather than with just the speaker's own opinions. Now, what Art chose to do today was to talk about an issue that's obviously close to his heart, which is cancer and the studies that can perhaps help conquer cancer in the future. And he really had his heart in this speech. He, it, it, was written all over Art's body. This was Art, and he was giving this speech and getting his message that he wanted to get across to us. And so he was able to demonstrate immediately by the question he asked right at the very beginning of the speech, how many of you would be willing to sacrifice four hours of your life to ta-da-da-da-da-da, and he eventually got everybody to raise their hand. So that brought everybody into the speech and demonstrated, once he explained why he asked the question, demonstrated its importance to the audience. So certainly that part of the, of, of the particular speech assignment was very well handled. The, I liked the speech particularly because it was well organized and clearly presented. It was easy to understand, easy to absorb, and the message was delivered. His voice was good, eye contact was good, all of the basic fundamentals that one expects in, in a speech from Toastmasters were there. And so it was easier for Art to get his message across. As far as the amount of research and different aspects of research that were done, probably not as many as might have been if the, if the speech were a different approach, but that's not the approach that he took. As far as giving opinions, well, yes, but they were backed by the facts that he had. So I would give Art an A on the importance to the audience and a B on research versus opinions in terms of that speech. Now, in any speech, there's always areas for improvement, and as a DTM art, I'm going to hit on some of the more uh, obscure things, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, there was confusion at the beginning about what speech you were even giving. You weren't sure what speech you were doing. You thought you were in speech to inform, I learned you my manual, you lost the manual, <laughs> then you found this manual, and you said, oh, I'm doing speech number eight, I look at it, speech number eight's already done. And so why should you do number speech number seven, because that's what it says in the program. <laughs> so my number one critique is you're know where you're at when you get up there. <laughs> and so that was the, probably the biggest glitch. You did have a little trouble with the PowerPoint. I know you worked on it ahead of time and tried to get it all synced up and everything, but there were still problems. Yeah. And then you called more attention to the problems. Why do they go backwards? It's not supposed to go backwards. Fine, just go on. I run into that on the air. So yeah. don't call that much attention to it. Yeah. You did have your right hand in your pocket for part of the speech also. But overall, it was a strong message, simple and easily understood message, and I look forward to the next speech. Thank you.